In this video, we will discuss how to set up automatic ACH payments from the move-in screen. To do so, you're going to go to Operations and then the Move-in button. It will be a typical move-in in terms of choosing a unit. And then we're going to either add a new tenant or choose an existing tenant. Then we get to the final section. Click on the Edit button where it says Auto Bill. In this screen, you can either set someone up for automatic credit card or ACH. We're going to focus on the right-hand side for ACH debit we have our accounting and routing number. This will be found at the bottom of the person's check. A lot of times our customers will get a voided check from their customers to put this in. You put in the account number, the routing number, and then the account type, which could be business checking, consumer checking, or consumer saving. Typically it would be consumer checking. Either way, choose the respective account that represents the bank account that it is going to be pulling from. In the bottom right hand corner we have a monthly automatic billing section. We're going to choose ACH at the bottom. Notice that in the upper right hand corner now all those fields become defaulted. In other words, you have to have them all filled out. The auto bill on day pass due. Normally you would leave that as zero, meaning you're going to charge or take money out of this person's account on the day of their anniversary date. If you put this number for example to be two, and their anniversary date is the first, this means that when they are two days past due, which would be the third, that's when it would take money out of their account. Once we have our account number, routing number, account type put in, and are set up on ACH bank debit with either a zero or an auto bill on day past due greater than zero, click OK to finalize the process. On the respective day that the tenant is due in this example, it will show up on your reminder screen that you have an ACH to process.